I am so excited because it's finally time. So I've been wanting to do this for a while now, but I'm finally going to do my makeup collection video. So let's just get right into it. And also I know that I have a lot of makeup. Before I show you my Alex 9 drawers, I'm first going to show you my cart. So my cart and the Alex 9 drawers are both from Ikea. Here we have my cart. I only really need to show the top of it, but it has my mirror and it has two brush holders. And these are all my brushes. These are just the ones that I kind of color coordinate. So the ones in here, well, there are two Sonia Kashuk brushes in it. These two, there's a blush brush and a concealer brush. But then the rest are just from an e.l.f. holiday collection because they look like they're the same. And these are just my gold Morphe brushes. They're the first Morphe brushes I got. And I got them to match like my armoire in my room. And so now I have it in these containers. So that's just there because I'll put it in front of me when I do my makeup, like when I'm filming. Just so I'll have everything in front of me and I can see myself. So here is my Alex 9 drawers. The ones that everybody else has. Let's just go into the top drawer. Here is my skincare drawer. It looks a little, a little cluttered. But it's really not because I have these three separate containers. I have some lip stuff in here. My lips get super dry. This is like acne spot treatment. These are moisturizers. Um, there's a moisturizer here and a micellar water thing here. The back is kind of just random. There's some extra skincare products and some cotton. So that's about it for that drawer. But then in the second drawer, it's just all masks. So I have like teeth whitening strips, um, lip masks, and under eye masks. And here's another teeth whitening thing. There's a foot mask in the back. These little mask pods. The next drawer down is brushes and some makeup remover. So this is the rest of my brushes in here. And I just recently got more like Morphe brushes. I got a couple ColourPop brushes actually. And I just got this at Marshalls today. I thought it was really cool. It was like the iconic London ones. Just kind of a knockoff of that. I normally keep these out in my cart just so I have easy access to them. Not all of them, just like some of them. Because some of them I reach for a lot. These are all like blenders, but I don't really use these ones a lot. These sponges are when I do other people's makeup. I have brush cleaner and brush cleaner or like half egg thing. And some eye makeup remover. There's an eyelash cut. This goes in here. Then in here, I also have all my sponges. The rest of my sponges. Sorry about the swatches. So this is my face and body sponge by Real Techniques. I love it. It's a giant sponge. This is the original one, by the way. I just got this one from Morphe. I still need to try that out. I have my beauty blender and today I got these at Marshall and they're by Real Techniques. It's their under eye ones and I got that for three dollars. So I definitely need to try that out. Next door down is primers, foundations, and sprays. So here are all my foundations. So for foundations I have the Milani Conceal and Perfect, Wet n Wild Photo Focus, Covergirl Vilas Healthy Elixir, this Neutrogena Hydro Boost. I never use this one. I have these two Makeup Forever HD foundation samples. NYX Total Control. Hourglass Vanish Stick. Which I like to use this as a concealer. I'm wearing it as a concealer right now. It Cosmetics CC Cream. I really love this stuff. Infallible Pro Matte. This CC Cream by Clinique. I really like it because it has my favorite moisturizer in it. It has the Moisture Surge and this like expired clean foundation that my sister had. Primers and stuff. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. The Too Faced Hangover Photo Finish Sample. The Dermalogica Hydro Blur Primer. I've never tried this before. The Professionals by Benefit. Um, Maybelline Baby Skin. Lately I've been using a lot of my hydrating primers. Just because it is the winter and my skin is really dry. So for sprays, I have a giant one of the Mario Desk. Your friend gave me this. It's just this rose water. I also really like this. 
This one is basically just water. I use it when I had a really bad allergic reaction on my face and it actually really helped just because my skin was so sensitive at the time. I have the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 um, priming spray. I got this before the primer. I just got the primer version recently. But I like to use that when I'm doing other people's makeup and I just spray that on as their primer. This is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Urban Decay All Nighter. This Ulta Makeup Setting Spray. I think my sister gave this to me. And I also have Fix Plus in the back. And also for most of my drawers, I have a matte, like a sticky drawer liner just so everything won't shift around. So here that's concealers, cream products, brows, and then face powders. In the back, I have my only like cream palette since it goes with the cream products. This is the Anastasia Cream Contour Kit. So I guess I'll go into my cream product. I have two by Maybelline. This is the Master Strobing Sticks. I have it in the shade 200 and 100. So then my mom just recently gave this to me because she decided that she did not want it anymore. It is this matte cream contour and highlighter. Next, I love this one. This is what got me into cream contouring. But it's the NYX Wonder Stick. I have the Tardis Pro Glow. This Clinique Chubby Stick. I do not really like cream blushes, but this was my sister's and she gave it to me. So this is the L'Oreal True Match, just this liquid highlighter, which I like this one. I use this as a primer. So I just use this before my foundation. So I guess I might as well just move down to brows. Yes, yeah, so I have not um, been using this. This Bonnie Bell Eye Mascara because a little concerned about it. I think it might be expired or something. This used to be clear. So here are my brow pencils. I have the Anastasia Brow Definer in the shade Caramel, I think. I have the NYX Brow Pencil and I have the Essence Brow Pencil Benefit Gimme Brow. This is just an e.l.f brush is double sided and I just use it for my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. This is in the shade Soft Brown. Then I have the Essence Clear Brow Gel. And I just got this today when I was at Marshalls. It's a Smashbox Brow Tech Shaping Powder. So it is actually a brow powder. It's really interesting. It's kind of messy. So here are my concealers. Of course, my shape tape. I'm running low. I really need to get a new one, and I want to sh get a shade lighter. This is the Instant Age Rewind by Maybelline, but it is the brightening one. So if you've heard of anything about this, the brightening one really does suck. It's, the normal one is amazing. So I recently got that, finally. I Okay, I love this stuff. This is... The Bare Minerals Stroke of Light. Put that on with my shape tape sometimes or with another concealer. Or I'll use it on its own. But it's not it's not super full of coverage. But I really love the finish and stuff. This is the CoverGirl Outlast All Day. Recently got the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. Which I love the applicator. It's just like this one. This is the Maybelline Fit. I have some more at the bottom. I have this one, which is or like a rollerball, but it's actually tinted, so it does give some coverage, and it's really great for no makeup day. I have an e.l.f. one, and then this is a sample of the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. Here are face powders. The Bare Mineral, the Mineral Veil. This is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. I know it's a highlighter over my face to give a glowy finish. This is the MAC Studio Fix Powder. This powder has a ton of coverage. It's not even mine, it was my sister's. But that's if I need to add some more coverage to my foundation. This is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Blends. This is the Clinique powder. I really like this one. This one is really good. It's one of my favorites. It's the Rimmel Stay Matte. When I use a powder, this is 
normally it. This is the bare mineral a uh, bare minerals powder. Like, this looks super dark. But it feels super grainy or something. And now it looks a little orange. There's this bare minerals the blemish remedy. This is my like compact drawer. Like this is all my face powders. So first we'll go into the first section of it, which is my highlighters. By the way, I got like all, all my organizers from Amazon. This is more recent, but I got the sleek solstice highlighting palette and this is actually amazing like i i kind of question when people talk about it so much but it is actually amazing life hack i got it in a set with this lip and it was seven dollars instead of 15 or like 14. this is ColourPop flexitarian i have these two aspen ovard slash pixie ones these are really good they're super buttery and they're actually super blinding i've had this one for a really long time but I more recently got this for half off and I really like this one because it suits my skin tone better. I finally got my hands on a wet and wild one. This is in Precious Petals. I have the Master Chrome by Maybelline. I really want to get the rose gold one now. It's also really good. It's by um, Physicians Formula. It's the Shimmer Strips. This one, it's really cool because you can customize your shade a little bit more. And also on the side, other side, there's a mirror. This is one of the best highlighters. It's the um, Becca Champagne Pop. Real quickly, I'll just do the ones on the sides. These are the ones that are too big to fit anywhere. So it's mostly just like translucent powders. This one, I have it because they use it on like movie sets. Something like that. This is the Cody Airspun. Laura Mercier. These are two of my favorites. The Butter Bronzer is like my ultimate favorite. And then I really like this White and Wild Contour. So now I'm going to move on to blush. Oh, this is just a Chanel one. It's really sheer, but my mom gave it to me because this is another thing she decided she did not want. But this is like a sheer blush. These are my two White and Wild Color Icon ones. I really like these. This is Pearlescent Pink and Mellow Wine. Burt's Bees Blush is in Bare Peach. This is super bright. But it's by Neutrogena. But I also have the California Blush. This Milani Baked Blush. This Tarte one from the birthday set. It's in Party. In the back are my bronzers. I showed you my butter bronzer. I really like the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. I guess I just like bronzers that are scented. <laughs> they both smell so good. I have this e.l.f. duo. Plus, I got it on clearance. This is the Rimmel Natural Bronzer. Of course, the Hula Bronzer, which is also really good. In the back are my palettes, my face palettes. This is one of my first face palettes. It's the Sweet Peach Glow by Too Faced. Oh, and it smells so good. I'm also more recently got this. Is the ColourPop in Nudendo. I feel like I haven't fully tested this one out yet. This is a shade in light. I got it. I got it for $20 and it's normally $50. I also got this for 50% off. But this one is a little more chunky glitter. So I don't like it as much. But I really want to get the Sugar Glow Kit. Here is my lip drawer. So I have a ton of lip. So over here, it's just like lip balm and it has some lip scrubs in it. And then this is just EOS lip balms. So starting over here, I have like mini lip products. Just so it's easier to find because when I put it with the other ones, it kind of gets lost. And then these are like lip crayons and lip pencils. I remember I got this. Sephora points and stuff. Like I got this for free when I ordered from ColourPop for the first time. I got this with the birthday thing. In the back are lipstick. See, I have an actual lipstick holder, but I'm using that for like liquid eyeshadows instead right now. So, um, I have the Patrick Star lipstick in Mama Star. I really love that. This Clinique one is so pretty, and I got it for free. It is so pretty, and it has these little shimmers in it. This Too Faced one, Lani L'Oreal, like a lip balm, but it's tinted. So this is what like the lip balm one looks like. And then over here is all my liquid lips and lip glosses. I had to put my like actual tubes of glosses over on the side. So these ones are like pairs. 
These are Milani ones. And I have two L'Oreal ones. I have two Revlon ones. Four Baby Lips glosses. This sleek one is the one that came with the highlighter. Bonnie Bell Lip Lights. It's just this golden gloss. I have this NYX um, Extreme Shine Lip Cream. I have this NYX Liquid Suede. I really love the formula. This Stay Glossy 3D thing from Rimmel. Really pretty. This is the Patrick Star um, Liquid Lip of Mama Star. Um, this is an Anastasia lip. I, this was like a free sample that came with it. These three are Anastasia ones that I found today. And also this Bite Beauty one. This one is actually such a pretty shade. I'm wearing it right now. But it's by Bite. And I got found this full size one for $7. Which is really good. These three Anastasia liquid lips for they were each like six or seven dollars and so i found this anastasia lip gloss in this super bright red but i don't have any red lips so i thought that would be cool and then i got this darker red lip this is the liquid lipstick and this then is a lip gloss but that's a deeper red shade and then i have this really light pink shade and then the back three are all color pop this one i got for free because when it was late shipping they sent me a free lip gloss. It's an ultra glossy lip. This one I like special packaging because it was a collab. I have this color pop one. It's an ultra satin lip and is in the sh is in the shade 0. This is Kathleen Light X um, color pop. It was her in her Dream Street collection. An ultra satin lip. So that is all my lips. Now this one, this is like single shadows, liquid eyeshadows, glitter, eyeliners, mascara. So like in the back you can see there's actually the new l'oreal mascara and i haven't opened it yet i kind of want to do a video on that um i do not have a place to put my mascaras i did before but i rearranged lately and that's why i'm doing a um, collection now but they're all my mascaras there i don't even buy a lot of mascaras it's just my mom really loves mascaras and she'll give me hers or somebody might give me one this one is actually like a sample like i have a good amount of sample ones i feel like so then i have my single shadows i'll go on this side just because it's a little more empty i have my two l'oreal infallible which one of them was on sale these are really nice then i have my two wet and wild glitters these are literally just like glitter mixed with vaseline this is just another l'oreal one oh wait i'm doing a makeup collection that's what she said and then back here is the lipstick color that i was talking about that i'm actually using for my glitters and liquid shadows is my nyx glitter primer and then i have my two nyx glitters i have in just the gold shade and i have in this really cool like silver iridescent color i got this mac pigment recently it's a really pretty color that one actually fits in here and these two don't fit i have my two stila magnificent Mac sunset cove and rose gold retro retro I have two ColourPop Supernova shadows. This one is in the shade Mothership. It's just a blue color. This one is in the shade Moonlit. It actually looks a lot more purple on the eye. And it really makes my eyes pop a lot. And I also got these two on clearance at Target. And these are Maybelline Color Tattoo like Eye Chromes. Back here are my eyeliners. I don't know how I actually have this many because, well, I guess it's just for my sister or something. Clinique one for free. I guess this was for my sister. I have two NYX ones. I recently just got these two ColourPop ones. So this doesn't fit in my single shadows, but it's a Maybelline Color Tattoo 24 Hour Shadow Pop. I don't really know what to use this for. I guess you use it as a base but we'll see that was also something my mom gave to me because she did not want it anymore so here are all my ColourPop single shadows i'll go through each one it's pink glittery one it's called tea party alias which is just like a brown transition shade i have brady which is more pinky mauvey paradox dare which and it goes great with my eye color because i have green eyes oh this is kennedy i have waddles bill um, I have this shade which is called Hazley. This is also a really pretty color. It's called Coconut. Last one is called Telepathy. Finally, onto the last drawer, which is all of my palettes. I also recently got the 39A palette before it officially sold out. 
Very good. But it's too big. Like, it's too wide. It's just too big. So, but this is all my palettes. In the back are my bigger palettes. I have the Gal Galaxy Chick. I have the Morphe 35O. I have the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. And then I have two ColourPop. They are the same one, but it's because when I ordered it, it originally broke, and then they sent me a new one, and I kept the other one. I just cleaned it up. But then over here are just my mini palette. So I have this Tarte Live in Color palette. It was like a called the palette. Pl it's palette play. I do not use this. It just has four shades. They're actually really pretty, and I love to love to depot that and put it in a Z palette. But I do not own a Z palette. But then I have the Nick um Lid Lingerie, and this is the Nick's Cosmic Metals. And then this Benefit one, I guess, was my sister's. And then I have the Huda Beauty Electric Obsession Obsession. I did an electric pink halo with this palette. I just love that. Then this, one of the first palettes that I decided to get, I got this when it first came out. It was the Tarte Unicorn, or like the Tarte Make Believe in Yourself palette. Like, I love the smell. And there's only one matte shade. Then my mom just gave this to me because she decided that she didn't really want it, but I really, I need to try this out. I haven't really seen anyone test it out yet. So now into like really my normal size palette. I'm actually going to start on this side with my ColourPop ones. Um, I got this in my most recent ColourPop order. This is the Double Entendre palette, I think. Um, the Dream Street palette by ColourPop. It is also really pretty. I love, I love Kathleen Lights. Also, back here is like the thing to the Jaclyn Hill palette. And then when I was ordering from ColourPop one time, I got this free Golden State of Mind palette. I got the Tartlet Toasted palette. I have the Carly Bible palette. This is just the original one. And then I'm really excited about this one. I got the Dominique Cosmetics Latte palette. I love Kristen Dominique. I just did a review on this. The makeup I'm wearing right now is from this palette. I have the Cat's Pajamas palette by Laura Lee Los Angeles. I also really love Laura Lee. I have two Anastasia palettes. I really want to get the Soft Glam palette. I have the Modern Renaissance and I have the Prism palette. I have the Too, Fe Too Faced Sweet Pea. One of my first palettes I ever got was the Naked 3 palette by Urban Decay. I have this new Tude palette by The Balm, which somebody gave to me because they decided they didn't really want it. And then last but not least, I have this palette my mom gave me, which is the Prissy Princess Palette by MAC. I love the size of it, but this one is also really pretty, and I love the silver shade from it. So that is my final makeup collection. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to check out some of my other videos, and yeah. Tell me that we're not alike, but we work so well And we don't even know why From the other stars cross right Cause we work so well And we don't even know why You can call it fire and ice, but we work so well